What's up, everybody? It's John from 9142 Props and Armory. It is a Sunday, and coming up in just a couple days, Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida, will finally be open to the public. And with Orlando opening up, I kicked this idea around when the Disneyland Park opened up and just never quite got around time to uh, to get it done. So today we're doing it. Part of it is being able to use your, your handheld device, your phone, your tablet, whatever, along with the Play app to make the most of things. So the app is actually very, very cool. And I've got it running here on a Galaxy Tab. But the thing of it is, is... I can't have it just be a, a plain tablet or run it on my phone and walk around in it. We're going to a freaking Star Wars land. we got to make it a little more interesting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this Galaxy Tab, run in the Disney Play app, and we're going to Star Wars the shit out of this thing. All right, so we're going to take the tablet. We're going to make it look Star Warsy. So how do we do that? Well, Star Wars, the aesthetic of Star Wars is a lived-in universe. It's beat to hell. It's been used, abused. It's been around for a long time. No clean lines, no pretty things. Well, some of that in the prequels, but original trilogy, sequel trilogy era, that's what things look like. So what I did is I got into my junk drawers of many things, old computer parts, 3D printed parts, and Greeblies, and all kinds of different things, some stuff from different costumes I've worked on, uh, Shore Trooper, um, some things that I've modeled, you know, the old standby, the Imperial Disc that's on, oh, so many things in Star Wars, um, aluminum and started making a case for uh, the tab. So I started out with a plastic base, cut it out on a bandsaw, cut a window out for the camera on the back of the tablet, and then started attaching different sheets of aluminum and riveting those on to that plastic backing that I made. And took those on there, riveted them on there, and started attaching some of my 3D printed parts, um, some electronic parts, and all kinds of manner of different junk, basically, to put it on there and make it look like something. Started on that already and worked a little bit ahead, and here's where we're at right now. So you can see lots of different things on there. We've got uh, little parts from um, different costumes. We've got junction blocks for electronics, uh, a heat sink from an old Pentium processor various knobs, um, 3D printed vents, and, and little control pads, and all kinds of other things. So I took all that, I sprayed it with a black base to make it uh, uniform. But, as we know, nothing in Star Wars is that clean and that pretty, so this is where we got to start doing some work. So we've got all kinds of aluminum panels on here that match up to each other. And on the back plate here, we want to take those and make them look like crap. So how do you make things look like crap and beat up aluminum? Easiest way to do it is with just sandpaper. And you just start going over things. And the more you go over things, the more we're going to expose the aluminum that is underneath everything here. So as we go ahead and do that, we are giving our piece here some age. So what we kind of want to do is focus on, first of all, the areas that are really going to see good amounts of, of touch on them over time and kind of highlight those with the sandpaper. So as we drag that sandpaper over the painted edges here, we start to get back down into the aluminum that's hiding out underneath here. The thing of it is, is if you start to kind of think about what you're doing here as you're doing this, it's going to kind of show. So really what you want to do is make the thing look like it's been used. Very few things in Star Wars are new and look new. 
And from the photos and the videos I've seen of the things at Galaxy's Edge so far, they've continued with that same aesthetic in all different areas of the of the park. Now we're starting to look like something. So you can get a little better look at that as you're as I'm doing that. Now that's all we're doing. We're just scratching things up. We're not being careful about it. We're not thinking about it. Just grabbing different things. Putting scratches in the surface paint. So that's why it's kind of nice to do things like this. Whatever kind of prop project you're you're working on, if you can, if you want to weather something, and you want it to show as metal, and to really make it look like it's something real and it's not a bunch of plastic, use metal wherever you can. Use metal screws. Use little sheets of aluminum, pieces of brass, wires, whatever. You know, knobs like these ones that are metal knobs that when they're painted and you scratch them off a little bit, now it's now it looks like something that's been around a little bit. All right, so I think we're in a pretty good place when it comes to the metal parts as far as how those look. And we can definitely see a good bit of aluminum showing underneath there. Now, we have some parts on there that are plastic. Some of these printed parts like this and this and this greebly down here, and this plate here is actually 3D printed too. So in order to fake the illusion of, of metal parts there, we're just gonna use a little bit of silver leaf rub and buff. And silver leaf rub and buff is really nice for this kind of thing, and I use it all the time. And all you're gonna do is just put a little bit on the corner and on the sides of things, and you just rub a little bit on your uh, with your finger, and suddenly, that plastic thing starts to show. Now it's kind of blending in with the other things we got going on with the aluminum parts. And we're just going to go around and do that on some of these plastic parts. Nothing crazy, don't go heavy on it. But just doing a little bit of this helps to show wear on there. And really, the rub and buff, it's just a tiny little bit at a time. You're just using a little bit and rubbing that stuff on there because it's it's a it's a wax that has pigment in it. So a little bit goes a very, very long way. Like I could do this whole thing and make all of this stuff look metallic using a, the smallest, smallest little dot of rub and buff on on this little piece of paper towel is all it is. So we got some of this plastic stuff now is showing as metal. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot less plastic-like, which is what we want. We want everything to show as plastic. I'm trying to create that illusion a little bit. So there we go. So got some painting. A couple little things up on these buttons up at the top there to add that. Um, I did have one corner on this plate that's not really attached very well yet, so I wanted to kind of fix that up. And just like everything else with the rest of the plates on there, I'm using rivets. Use rivets on there just because it's going to add to the look too. So pop rivets are really nice and simple. You drill a hole, you put your rivet through the hole, through your pieces that you're going to hold together. Once you get everything held together there, you put your riveter on to the end, and then you squeeze. Rivet pops off, pin pops off of there, that's not going anywhere. Junction blocks, that way I have somewhere that I can run exposed wires on the outside here very easily. Alright, so we got some wires on there. I added some braided hose on there as well. Uh, buttons are painted. I'm going to forego the lights, I think, for the time being. I may add them on the end. I'll probably do an update on that later on, maybe throw some pictures on Twitter when that's done. 
later on, um, or maybe do a quick follow-up video on that part of it. But for the moment, all I got to do now is get this mounted to the tablet, and we will take a look and see how it looks all together. We've got the tablet mounted. It is in place. We are in the app now, looking at the map of Galaxy's Edge. And now, looking at some of the other options on here. I went in and tricked the GPS to think that we are actually in Orlando because otherwise the functionality, most of the functionality of the app will not work until you are present in Galaxy's Edge. Went ahead and tricked things a little bit. Now it believes that we are in Orlando so we can go ahead and go through and play with everything in here. Instead of just having a plain looking tablet to in which to run this, we have officially Star Wars the shit out of it. I all told I probably spent about an hour and a half building this. If that. And I think we got a really cool a really cool result. So it's not just a plain tablet anymore. It is something that looks like it does belong in the Star Wars universe. And I think I am pretty happy with that. I will probably add some lights just to make it a little bit more interesting, but compared to what it started out as, just a basic Galaxy Tab tablet, it was pretty damn cool. So let me grab one thing, real quick. Give you another good look at that there, buddy. Total cost of the build was zero dollars. This is made from stuff that I had sitting around in the shop already, which is pretty cool. All right, till next time, everybody. It's John from 9142 Props and Armory saying, go ahead, build something, have fun, try something out. If you build yourself a nice, fun, in-universe looking phone cover for your device or your tablet, please share them with me on Twitter. I'm at John Weger, at J-O-N-W-E-G-E-R on Twitter. Share those pictures with me. I would love to see them. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, and go ahead and give the video a like. Jumped over 1,500 subscribers, which is really awesome, so thanks to all of you. I appreciate the time. Have fun. Build something. Take a chance to do something. You never know where it might lead you. It's John. See you later. Bye.